2000 euro gone like that main camera for this channel gone like that this is a story of our first time in hanoi vietnam we will show you our hotel local food have a walk around both expensive area of hanoi and the local market street as well as a famous train street let's check out how the city looks now after two years of restrictions and yes i got robbed on the very first day stick around to hear the full story we arrived in Hanoi early in the morning and we saw that our hotel still has the breakfast so even without changing the clothes we decided to check out what they have for breakfast and we both have been missing our Asian food for quite some time in Turkey we didn't have much of it and at the restaurants where they did have it it was quite expensive so for breakfast at this hotel they had both Vietnamese food options and Western food. That's nice. So Rene and Fobo. Can Fobo withstand this concert? Of course not. <laughs> Mm. 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 So this is our nice little room in Hanoi. It is quite small, but I would say it's cozy. Especially for the price, it's really good. So we did, do not have uh, a normal window, only this small one, so no natural light, but the ceiling lights are good. Another downside of living in Hanoi city center, old city, is uh, you can still hear honking outside, so don't forget your earplugs. Positive of this room, it's really clean. I don't see dirt anywhere, they clean it nice and the furniture looks nothing too fancy but it looks good. The walls are clean. We have air conditioning and even a small ventilator and the bed is nice. I do like it, it's not too hard, not too soft. It's on the softer side which is not always in Southeast Asia as well and the thing about it, it's quite short so we barely fit on it so if you're a very tall person you might be a bit inconvenienced by it <laughs> which is the case in yeah, basically the whole of Asia and yeah I will repeat again that it does look very clean and the bathroom looks very clean no smells, no damp or something like that something that, hap that happens, they also clean it very good. I don't see anything, no like extra hair or something. <laughs> yeah, it does look modern and small fan, which cheap hotels don't have. And about the price, actually here in Vietnam, you can find something for a really good price. So it's about 30 to 35 US dollar. Yeah, something like it. So we decided to, not be too stingy with the hotel and go for at least a $30 <laughs> one. And so far we are happy with it, I would say. Yeah, so this is our uh, home for three days and then we are moving to the next destination in Vietnam where we stay for a month. And there we will explore more and tell you all about it. We are here at the Hanoi Zero Quarter, the center of Hanoi. So mm -hmm. it's very convenient for you to see all the famous attractions in Hanoi in mm -hmm. Zero Quarter, in the tourist center. For example, from here, um, you go to the lake, just about 10 yeah. minutes for walking. That's where it happened yesterday, here. Yep, yes, <laughs> yes, so sorry about that. And I read that also here is nice, this lake also can be nice. Yes, really, really nice. I showed you once ago. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. from here, see here, and then explore this area. Uh, actually, here is the best places for me from in Hanoi. Mm -hmm. uh, only the rich people, it's pasta here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so beautiful. But the traffic is... It, when, when you know it, it's really easy. Mm. Yes, correct. I, because I come from the countryside, the first time I came here, it's so crazy for me. I cannot go. <laughs> Just stand in this time. And, and look for the other side, my friend there. I can go and then he come back and take me. <laughs> Actually, mm -hmm. yeah, in here we have no rules, but if you know how to do that, just so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. just yeah. know. Yeah. Where do you come from? From the north or from the south? Uh, I'm from the um, small province nearby Hanoi. 
on the uh, north so side actually, of London. So actually close to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, because my major is tourism, so I need to work in the city or Yeah, of course. In yeah. Yeah, yeah, All the work is here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. So this lake is quite popular in the city center of Hanoi and we see already here some guys, local guys are fishing, even guys that uh, work at Grab. Just as we've been told, uh, around this area more rich people are living and you can see from the buildings that are surrounding it. I also read that many foreigners who are English teachers who work in Hanoi, they live around this area. And alongside these beautiful and rich looking buildings, you can also see the local eateries and buildings who are looking very old and quite shabby. The cars are parked uh, right along this street and the street itself is already quite narrow but yeah there is just no other parking options from what we saw so people are parking how they want you can see the local eateries all along the street we decided to stop for a coffee at this local place Do they also have a toilet? Do they also have a toilet? Toilet? Yeah. Quite strong. It's really strong. I'm making that YouTuber face. It's strong. It's not like it's not like in Starbucks. It has a different bean taste. The beans taste differently. And the view on the lake makes it for a very nice place to have a coffee. Then we walked more into this neighborhood and it looked quite quiet and very nice to have a walk here because no heavy traffic inside the streets and it did feel like not every business survived the covid survived the lockdowns so quite many of them were closed but the neighborhood itself felt safe and a nice place to have a walk it felt like a nice and relaxing getaway from the hustle and bustle of the old city so we are searching for some bun to fill our bellies yeah yeah. We deserve it. Do we? We do. <laughs> oh, this is already some place. But yeah, I don't see Bunny. Didn't see that many tourists here, only every now and then, even though it's quite close to the old city. But I guess uh, the tourism is not yet fully recovered after all the restrictions. We also didn't see many people wearing masks, maybe locals sometimes, but not the tourists. So it looked like that there is no rule, no obligation to wear a face mask anywhere. So we couldn't find the food that we wanted, so we decided to just go inside a small corner shop, Circle K, to check out what they have for snacks. Oh, they have all the snacks. Even a chicken one. Sandwiches. All kinds of Asian snacks. And then I found a big bottle of <laughs> alcohol they do sell here. 17,000 Vietnamese dong for a beer, 16,000, which I guess the cheapest. Oh, 15, 12. 12 is the cheapest. Cocktails, Korean, 
European gears. Cranking, that's weird. So we settled on trying the steam buns. And we chose uh, to sit by the river at this nice location. And you're gonna eat what? Yeah. Show us. I don't know the name anymore. <laughs> but it's a steam bun. It's a steam bun. It should be meat in it. Yeah, with some what should be egg and some meat. I assume it's pork. Looks more like porridge, but. Porridge? Tastes like porridge? I... It should be pork by the looks of it. Yeah, it's meat. Yeah. I must say, it tastes a lot better than we have them in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands we call them pau pau. Mm. Mm -hmm. They are nice. I also like to eat them in Thailand. Yeah. Just leave something for me. <laughs> Don't forget you're married. That means sharing everything. For better, for worse. <laughs> yeah, recently we already shared the worst. <laughs> so, moment of truth. Will she do it? <laughs> it is good. 20 locals over there. <laughs> Waving at us. <laughs> We get, give it a 5 stars on our... 4.5, I'm sorry. For Bob gets, gets the 5? Yeah. <laughs> so let's check out the small temple and the beautiful bridge that we saw while we were eating. You are leaving a donation? first day out of Turkey we already found a donier kebab right here in Hanoi and finally we found a real Vietnamese banh mi the traditional one every time we try it it has some new ingredients that we didn't see before so Renee are you ready to taste your first banh mi since two years yeah I'm ready for it how about you guys are you ready for me to try it? <laughs> or what? Am I ready? That's the real question. <laughs> so, well, first, let's see what's on. So, there's some meat. This is shredded. shredded. Yeah. Some cucumber. Come on. Mm -hmm. The bread is nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. The inside is nice. Bun me approved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot eat this <laughs> elegantly. But you know, it doesn't really matter because the taste is so nice. Mm -hmm. Who wants to? Spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hanoi is really a city of contrasts and right beside the back streets and the markets you can find some uh, beautiful sites. For example, this is Ho Chi Minh's mausoleum. Now we are walking along the market that we just found by chance. And you can see on the market you can buy almost everything from meat and fish to vegetables. 
if you're after some muscles or chicken legs you can also find it here again we don't see many tourists even though this is a city center and you can see that some of the locals are still wearing masks while others don't do it anymore One of the most popular attractions, and it's actually been recently on the news, is the famous train street. And it's famous because an actual train several times a day goes right between these buildings. And people even opened cafes on the ground floor so spectators and tourists can sit there and watch the train passing by. But recently it's been on the news that the cafes have been told that they have to close down for safety reasons. And when we were there, we actually saw one cafe open where some tourists were sitting, but not much more than that. So yeah, what happened on our first day in Hanoi? is after a 24-hour flight where we didn't sleep two nights so we were really tired we slept a bit in the hotel till midday and then still half asleep we went out and we are really close to one of the popular spots and there is some festival near the lake with loud music blasting everywhere people everywhere noisy crowded we are half asleep and yeah even with being like that, being tired like that, I still wanted to record at least a little bit of it because yeah, when you see a festival like this, you want to have memories of it. And I silly me had a backpack and my main camera, which is iPhone, was in my backpack and I was taking it in and out, in and out to film a little bit here and there. And at some point, Rene also stopped to make a video on his iPhone and this is the footage from uh, his iPhone actually. And yeah, that's why I thought, oh, I should take a snap too. Got into my backpack so that it's open. Yeah, and I couldn't find it and yeah, it got just snatched from us. And in the app, in the Find My Phone, we could later see that, yeah, it's in a different location already, very far. So probably a person uh, saw me going in and out of my backpack so the phone that it's expensive and yeah they followed us probably for a bit and in that noisiness they could easily open my backpack and steal it and run away and luckily they didn't steal everything that i had there i had a gopro i had money in that backpack but yeah luckily they did a quick grab and grab and run and everything else is safe so that is the good part although i did lose a lot of footage especially from turkey that we had it's a nice trip that in trabzon that we had that i promised you in the previous video and i showed you beautiful snaps from it but now that's all gone <laughs> unfortunately actually the irony is on that trip we forgot the gopro at a restaurant yeah and we found it and i did uh, the whole story out of it but now it's all gone maybe i will tell it once again <laughs> But yeah, in Turkey it did feel safer for us, I never lost anything and even when I left my phone once on a table at a huge food court, it was still there when we went back five minutes later. But yeah, I think just in this case someone actually targeted me. And but Hanoi is, is a big city and Hanoi is even almost famous for it, but every big city in the yeah. world famous yeah. for having so we did lose things before but it was accidental and we because of that nobody intended to steal it nobody stole things but when somebody actually pickpocket targets you then yeah you will not find it most likely so 2000 euro gone like that main camera for this channel gone like that but uh, we are trying to stay positive about it and well not positive but we try not to let it ruin our whole trip to Hanoi because so far it looks like a really cool city to explore but now I am walking like this not with a backpack anymore but like this which I would recommend to everyone <laughs> don't just wave your phone around too much 
especially if you don't have a bodyguard like me. Usually <laughs> now I walk a little bit behind her so that I have more view too. I always have the things in my front pockets and I have my t-shirt over it. Mm. And when I stand still then I usually have my hand on, on my pocket on my phone. So that I know they cannot grab it. What comes around goes around so people who still get their bad luck in return and when you give something good you will get good in return. Yeah. You win some, you lose some, that's yeah. life indeed. Yeah. Now we lost something. Tomorrow we will gain a lot. <laughs> you mean a lot of weight from eating banh mi? Mm, yeah, and pobo. <laughs> oh, I mean, could pobo. have been worse. In the end we are still privileged, I, th yeah. I think. And yes, we lost a lot of money. Um, but in the end, money is, is, I mean, it's important, but your health and your experiences are in the end much more important. And, uh, I mean, the main thing for us is that we lost the main camera for the channel. But luckily for us, we still have uh, things. The footage might be a little bit uh, different than you're used to, so I hope you still like it. <laughs> but the stories are better. <laughs> we will try to compensate with our cheery personalities. <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> uh oh, cray cray, insane in the membrane. <laughs> That's all you can do in here. Insane, insane. My phone being stolen like that, it did mix up our plans and we got a bit of a shock from it. But still, you have to understand that this is a big city and in every big city things like that happen. And it doesn't mean that everyone here is a thief or a bad person. And in fact, our manager at the hotel, uh, she actually went out of her way to help us. So of course you have to be careful, but also don't lose faith in people. There are good people everywhere still. This is Sarah, she helped us Hello. yesterday. Hello. To, uh, she Hello. even arranged her friend to take Renee on a water bike to go look for my phone. Yeah. <laughs> to go on an adventure. Yeah. yeah. the best experience, but we hope you uh, should be careful more because you yeah. know anyway some people are very good, some people are bad. Yeah. So, so they're also good people. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much yeah. again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I wish you a good day. So for dinner we actually have been looking for some time where to go but because we were a bit still shocked we just decided to treat ourselves to sushi. We ha didn't have the intention to actually go for sushi but we just saw it randomly. The prices were good and we decided to give it a try. And in Turkey we were used to that sushi is quite expensive and Almost always they are not worth the price. And here in Vietnam, of course, it's more expensive than uh, local Vietnamese food. But for the prices that we are used to in Turkey, it was quite affordable. This was our first day in Vietnam. And if you want to know why did we leave Turkey, check out this video. And in the next video, we will show you the cost of living in Vietnam now. And if you want to see it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.